As a high voltage enthusiast, one of the main tools that I use are these high voltage transformers out of microwave ovens. Typically these output around 2000 volts and about 500 milliamps for your typical 1000 watt microwave. Or sometimes you get lucky and you find a bigger, higher power microwave that has one of these bigger transformers in it. So, what I want to show you today is the effect that putting resonant capacitors has on the arcs that you get out of these transformers. It's pretty crazy. So, let's take a look. So for reference, here's what the arc from one transformer looks like with no resonant capacitors. Remember, microwave oven transformers are really dangerous. These things can kill you. Do not do this unless you are experienced with working with high voltage. Okay, here's two transformers in series. Primaries are in parallel, secondaries are in series with each other. So this should be somewhere around 4,000 volts. And we tripped the breaker. I knew this would happen. This is uh, trying to run two microwaves off the same circuit, basically. It's uh, not very happy with that. Let's try it again. Okay, here's the resonance setup. One transformer output goes into second transformer, second transformer output goes into third transformer that serves as ballast. This one's not connected to uh, input power, it's just an inductor basically. Output of that goes into capacitors. There's uh, two strings of two capacitors in series. Each of these is only rated for the about 2000 volts that each one would have come out of an individual microwave for. So I got uh, two in series and then another string of that in parallel with it to have about the same capacitance but double the voltage uh, rating. And that goes to the end of the, uh, the arcing sticks over here. So, let's, uh, let's take a look at this madness.
But that was pretty crazy, right? Really gives you an appreciation for uh, resonant capacitors. You know, I took an intro to circuits course in college, and I learned about resonant capacitors and power factors, reactive and capacitive impedance, and all of those things. And it's like, okay, yeah, I get it. But when you really see it in real life, that uh, really gives you a different appreciation for it. Anyway, that was really dangerous, and I do not recommend doing this unless you have a lot of experience with high voltage. Anyway, see you guys next time.